Hello, my fellow comic book collectors. This is Robert Glick with comicbooks.ie. This is our second vlog. Uh, by the way, thanks for all the feedback and comments on our first vlog, which was basically just an introduction. Uh, what I'm going to talk about now is probably one of the most important things I'm going to talk about uh, when it comes to taking care of your comics. Uh, the important thing about any collection is maintaining the condition. So a few things you want to start off with, make sure you spend the money and buy your bags and boards. Uh, as an example, this is the, the black, all my, by the way, all my supplies I get from Dublin City Comics and Collectibles. Doc and Jay are two wonderful guys and they're a lot of fun and they are, as far as I know, the least expensive when it comes to supplies and stuff. So that's where I get my own stuff here in Dublin. Uh, the black is Silver Age and then the blue would be current, and I'll explain why that's important. Uh, generally, you want to start off with current, needless to say, because they, we, that is, covers today's comics. Uh, first and foremost, when you get comics off the stands, you want to have a way to protect them to get home. So what I recommend is putting them in a box, something like this. I'll make sure it's big enough, obviously, to cover the amount of books you're going to buy. Uh, and that's to protect them. On, you can put them in your bag and not worry about them getting bent up, bent all out of shape, and stuff like that. Now, once you get home, how to handle a comic is very, very important. If it's high grade, you don't want to put any stress on the comic itself. You basically want gravity to do its thing, and this is how I handle a book, whether it's a two-year-old book or a thousand-year-old book, literally. Now, when you get home with your bags and boards, you want to go ahead and put the boards in the bags. This is the current and this is the Silver Age. Okay, and I'll again show you why. Now, first of all, if they aren't high grade and, and you think that they're, they're not that important, then just put them in the relative, the, the respective board and bag. So what you wanna do is just hold it like that. Again, no tension on anywhere on the book. Let gravity help you here and I've got the bag and board here, this is current. I generally put the spine in first, then make sure I get the other end on the board and just let gravity serve its function. And there you go. Now, when you are actually, before you tape it up, what I recommend doing, now if it's a high grade like this one is, by the way, I will take a second board Put it behind the board so you're not dealing with the comic itself. That way you're safe. And just slide it in there. Now take another boarded bag, boarded comic, and just stick it on top. The reason you want to do this is if the board is shorter than the bag itself, if you were just close it, you'll fill a lot of air in the bag. You'll seal it up. So what I recommend doing is just place another boarded comic on top. Have your tape ready. Take a little piece of tape and literally put it on the edge. Fold the bag over. Pull out the current, the boarded comic, and do the tape like so. Now we have a double boarded current comic. Now. If they're very high grade and you think they're very nice, what I'd also rec recommend doing to protect the condition of the book is have your Silver Age bag and board. Take another board. I always buy 200 boards for every 100 of bags so that I can do what I'm about to show you. Leave the board there a little bit taller than the top of the bag that way now you can do this i recommend now i've been doing putting the comic book in upside down and it literally will just slide right into the silver age so now same thing applies take the comic from before and fold it over Take your tape, and now we've got a book that is double boarded 
and bag in a current bag and double boarded and bag in a silver age. So you actually have four bag, four boards in one and then two bags obviously. Now this would only be important if they're high grade. If you hold your books and you don't, you look at the spine and don't see any spine ticks and it's very high grade, I'd recommend doing this. If it's lower than like a VF plus or something like that, which I will cover that in future vlogs obviously, uh, then it's, this really is not necessary. But to protect your high grade books, uh, extremely important this. And just so you guys know, this is not really perfect because it'd still be easy to bend this and crease the books. Uh, now there are something they call top loaders, which is a very thick plastic case. Now these are wonderful, but the only problem is some of this, sometimes this will not fit in an actual comic box. Now, this box, it actually will. Some boxes, it won't. Now, the proper size, if it's a current one like this, you can't, a silver age, like I would not be able to put what I just did, it won't fit. The silver age boards are too wide. Uh, current, however, goes in extremely nice. You just want to be sure that you don't get the bag caught. And I have information on the front as well. But there you go. But these things are very thick and if you have valuable books, it wouldn't be a bad idea to have a box of these top loaders. Okay? And that is basically all I wanted to cover for this vlog. Uh, please, if, if you're enjoying what you're seeing, like and share us on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter and Instagram, and be sure uh, to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And in the meantime, thank you very much, and I hope I'm helping you guys with handling your collection, and there will be more coming very soon. Thank you very much.